Hey, it's me again, Crystal. I bet you remember me from the how to measure video. Now, before you start installing, please watch this. Hello, my name's Abby and I am a DIY expert. Today, I'm going to show you everything you need to do before installing your curtains from DIY blinds. Just so you know, you'll need around 20 to 30 minutes for this installation. If you have large curtains over three meters, we recommend having a second person to help you. Firstly, you need to make sure that your window, floor and hands are all very clean. Then scan the QR code on your product box. This will take you to the DIY Blinds website. Please make sure all the pieces in front of you match the list on that page. If they do, you're good to go. If not, contact us on 1300 918 390. Now get the following tools ready. You'll need a step ladder, a metal tape measure, a cordless drill with a Phillips head and three mil drill bit, a pencil, and potentially a stud finder. Before drilling into any surface, there are a few things you need to work out. If you're drilling into wood, you should be fine to start, but if you're drilling into plaster, you have two options. The first option involves using a stud finder to locate where the wall studs or ceiling battens are. Your second option is to use Ramset 10mm hollow wall anchors as these will help secure your curtain brackets to the plaster. You can also fix into concrete, stone, brick or tile as long as you use a masonry drill with the appropriate plugs, anchors and screws. Once you're 100% clear about what you need to do, please continue. But if there's anything you're not sure about, give DIY Blinds a call before going any further. Hey again! Now, as I've said before, I'm a roller skating expert but I'm definitely not a DIY expert, which is why DIY Blinds have asked me to show you how quick and easy it is to install your curtains. So let's get a move on. First, lay your track next to your window to make sure the width of the track matches the width of the window or wall. For two or more pieces of track, lay your joiners on the floor and click them together so the ends meet in the middle of the track joiner. Now, Lay the brackets next to your track and space them about 600mm apart to work out how many you'll need. For two or more pieces of track, you'll need two brackets on either side of the joiners. Lay these ones 85mm apart, like this. Use your stud finder to find your wall studs, which may run vertically or horizontally in your wall, as you'll eventually be drilling into these. Now, make a mark at the exact height where your curtains will start. Next, find your brackets as you'll soon be screwing them into your wall studs. Then position each bracket in line with the marks and mark the screw holes. For two or more pieces of track, don't mark up and screw in your middle brackets just yet. You know the drill. Put on your protective eyewear and then screw your brackets into your wall using the screws provided. Next, click your track into the middle bracket. It's as easy as clicking your buckle into your helmet. Click your track into the other brackets and tighten the screws, checking as you go that the track is fixed securely in place. Now, remember those brackets either side of the track joiner? Well, now's the time to mark where you'll attach them and screw them to the wall. Now it's time to click in your curtains. And you know what that means? It's all downhill from here. Check the top of your curtain panels and make sure there's a pendant or hook attached to each press stud. For S-fold curtains, like this, click each pendant into your track starting at one edge. Make an S shape as you go by folding the fabric forwards and backwards, like this. For pleated curtains, carefully attach every single hook into your track. Your curtain should now hang beautifully from your wall mount. These will look great at my local roller rink. If things aren't rolling along smoothly, just call us on 1300 918 390.